Hey boys, it's me. Uh, hold on, I gotta fold my my towel. Alright, so this is Planet Fitness where I take a shower. Oh my goodness, I fell asleep in the car. <laughs> and I always do this, watch, I go into the mirror and I look, yeah, I do this. I don't know if you saw that, I blink and just say, you got this and smile a little. But I say, you got this in my head. But yeah, what a fun day. Uh, Oh my gosh, so when I when I stopped recording last, I was like, oh, I had a headache. And I was like, oh my gosh, I kept having a little headache. And um, let me just lay down. I remember, I don't know if you guys remembered it, but I had a similar headache at home when I smoked a cigar inside in Belton. Isaac and Benny would remember it, but uh, in Belton, in that back room when we had so much fun. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I try to do like a little video recording of Raina Clothier. And, and then I did some work and stuff with the computer, but I closed it up so the smoke won't go in. And I had, I had the humidifier and, or the air purifier. And I smoked there, and I think it just was too enclosed, and I had a huge headache. So I went to the bathroom, laid down, and your mom saw me. I'm like, I'm sorry. I just got a big headache. And no, within 15 minutes, I got better. But here, same thing. I did it before, where, um, before I went to Planet Fitness, I had a headache. And, uh, well, I, uh, it was not too bad. Um, I still have food. Oh, man. I wonder how food, good that food is. May have to toss it. That's okay. But, uh, yeah, and yesterday was the same case. And I think I know why. Apart from smoking two times, um, or two of them. Uh, apart from that, I didn't eat. Hence the food in the back. Yeah, I didn't eat, so it was interesting. Uh, I think, I mean, one plus one is two, boys. You know, if you go into a pool, you're gonna get wet. If I go smoke two cigars, I normally don't. I normally smoke one. And on an empty stomach, no, mm, it would definitely do it. But my intention was to, you know, lay down for 10, 15 minutes and then get back up. I dozed off. And oh my gosh, like I can't fall asleep peacefully. Um, peacefully, I can't fall asleep good. I guess uh, um, without taking a shower. Like I'm scuzzy. I always move and stuff, so that wakes me up. And apparently, this one didn't. And uh, <laughs> it was funny because, well, not really funny because I had a bad dream. Um, that was weird. It was like your mom, but it was my mother in replace of your mom. And I was like forcing her to buy some meat, like to steak and like, yeah, like a steak. And I told her, I'm like, you come and like, I was very mean. And I felt so weird. Like I couldn't, couldn't stop myself of yelling at her. And it was my mother. And um, then she left and then she came back apparently or something. And then she told like the manager and the manager was about to kick me out. But we were at a grocery store and, uh, and I followed her and she got some groceries and she ended up having a steak or like having a steak in her cart. But she never told me that she got the steak already. It was really weird. And that was the last part. I remember looking at the steak and like pondering. Uh -huh. 
So it was really weird. But again, instead of Nancy, your mom, uh, it was my mom, my mother. So, yeah, boys. But I learned that you can't take dreams at face value. You can't take them seriously because a lot of my dreams are bad dreams. And I, I feel that that some type of evil is just messes with me. So I can't take it seriously. I have more bad dreams than good dreams. There's some that are good, but some that are just weird. So I just learned to forget about it. But um, I haven't had a dream, whether good or bad, in a while that I remember. I remember that your mom, she can't remember dreams. But it's really weird because the ones that she does remember, she tells me. So I asked her, like, well, what do you dream about? I've asked her many times. And she's like, oh, I don't know. I don't even quite know. But the ones she does tell me is, are the bad ones. So. I don't know, boys. I guess I feel good. I felt good taking a shower. Feeling better. But. It just sucks because no matter where I'm at, I always think of your mom. I found some letters that she wrote or notes that she wrote, like journaling. She said there's some guys that she talked to way back before she met me, but like, I don't care, but she never told me. So it just makes you think what else is she's not telling me? Just all these doubts, man. Like, it's just... That's the least of my worries. But, uh... I got into poetry. To reading and then writing some of my own. Of course, about love. About... Lost love. All this stuff. And... Now I'm to the point where I can't even do that because it hurts me still it was it was beautiful that's why I like doing it but then it just it just hurts still so no matter what like it just sucks anywhere I go it's just the funny thing is you can't talk about it because everyone has problems everyone even worse than mine like here I am fighting about one love that I have, but apparently there are men that have multiple loves. So if you could imagine the hurt and pain they have, and I don't know why, I, I think this is a curse. Your mom might think it's a blessing that I'm able to express myself and, and tell my feelings because men tend not to know how to do that. But it's a curse for me because... The majority of men don't know how to do it, so the world is used to that. So they treat me even worse. So, so many men are even worse situations than me. I'm going crazy over one love. They, and I'm expressing it, and they don't even know how to express it, and they have multiple loves or fake loves. At least I know I'm I, who I love. I keep saying sorry, boys. I keep saying sorry. Like I didn't, I didn't mean to slide a play. I never, I never thought of hurting many of my boys. Just I'm, I'm sorry. Like a place is so small, and I didn't see him. I did not see him. But it doesn't matter if you keep saying sorry because no one listens. No one's here. And, it, and you can talk about God or whatever, but he's not here. He has his grand plan, this big plan, but he's not here. He's not here. And at the cigar shop last night, 
It's supposed to end at 10, but they stay a little later. They're having a, a one-year anniversary tomorrow or today at 5. I'm going to plan for that. And and um, I'll tell you in a second about him, about the guy named Les, his situation. But let me just finish off here. So I, I woke up like at 5.15 right now. And yeah, right at 5.15. That's an interesting thing. I don't know what that symbolizes, but yeah, I woke up. I'm like, man, woke up from my dream and like, man, it felt long, the dream. So I'm like, man, it's probably like two o'clock in the morning. Let me go inside. And I checked, it was 5.15. I'm like, good Lord. I was like, I, I think uh, my headaches got away. <laughs> So now it's a little lighter. I went inside. So I think it's about like 6 o'clock or so right now. And um, or 6.15. So I think I'm going to start doing DoorDash right now. I'm going to put gas in. And uh, I'm going to mash well. Oh, it says 6.20. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I might as well because I'm going to end a little early for the cigar anniversary they're gonna have barbecue there oh man it's called hellberg barbecue that they're connected with and yeah it's gonna be cool but yes it was nice it was definitely nice uh yeah and uh yeah so that was it I haven't slept in my car in about like two weeks, I think. But as you guys know, I, I've done it. I did it for two months. So. But this time felt a little different because I, I chose to do it. Not that I had no choice before. So it felt a little different. But, uh. Nevertheless, I dozed off. I laugh at that because I was supposed to leave at 10 and then they stay a little later. So I left about 10.40. And, and yeah, I just had the headache. I'm like, oh man. It, it just felt so good closing my eyes. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. And I think I know why I'm able to wake up at 5. And at the shop, I can't because I always, it's kind of harder because you feel more comfortable. I know it's a couch. It's not a bed over there, but it's a couch, at least soft. So I sleep comfortably and it's flat instead of here. I don't know if I should tell you the story about this guy at the cigar shop last night, but whatever. It's, it just brings more sadness. But what the hell, you know? At least sadness is somewhat. I'd rather have sadness than nothing. It's even worse. His name is Les. I see a couple of times that he's in like auto finance or something and he wears a shirt and tie sometimes and he's nice. I was getting to know him more and he was married. He barely talks about it and they had an older kid. He's like 15 years older than me, kind of like mid 40s or, or heck, I'm mid 30s. So yeah, maybe 10 years older than me, but um. I think he might be 50, but anyways, uh, looks young still, and, um, you know, a well-spoken guy, strong-looking guy, somewhat fit, just a nice guy, and doesn't matter, because he had a girlfriend for, like, nine months, and apparently two days ago he broke up with her and he was talking about it and you know all the guys want to know like what happened and she's a beautiful woman and she had an older child and um, 
and they were dating and he was like, no, she wanted to be married with me, married to me forever. I said, I don't want that. He was like, I want my freedom. All the guys agreed. He was like, yeah. He was like, yeah. And they asked, you know, what are your early signs that it wasn't going to work? And he said, uh, you know, she was checking his phone in the beginning. And he said, that gets me sad but that truly gets me angry <laughs> it gets me angry because men don't value women and here I am wanting to value your mother so much and I can't it just hurts boys because I see this crap every day I see men treating women like crap if I want to I want to treat your mother. I want. I want to love your mother. I can't. It just sucks. Like I just. <laughs> it just hurts, man. I don't know what else to say. It hurts. And I kept quiet. I didn't say nothing, but I heard it all. And I'm like, what an asshole. Are you have a woman that wants to spend her life with you? And he just cuts her off. All because of what? A stupid phone? Who cares? Unless you're doing something bad on the phone. And it's something I always loved. I always gave your mom my password, my location. And the way he was saying it, he said those same words. Oh, she wants to know my location. And If you're doing good, you don't care about those things. You want her to know where you're at. Like, I, I did it with your mom. I was always open. I was always open with your mother. I don't know why she didn't trust me. I don't know why she... And... My doubtful mind is she's going to find someone else, but it's never going to be like me. And I can't say that because it sounds all macho, and I don't mean to be macho. I'm just saying that I, my love for you is so pure, and there's no man out there that would give that to you. And it sucks. Because she doesn't see that. That's why I don't want to talk about it or mention this guy because it just hurts me so bad because oh, it sucks. But that's, no one wants to hear your problems because remember the lesson of the day? I think I told you this. If not, I've written it down to tell you later, but. 80% of your pro or 80% of people don't care about your problems and 20% are happy that you have them. So So you can't talk to anyone. That's why I love you boys so much. Hell, you might even get tired of my of my feelings. And say, "Oh, shut up, dad. I got my own problems." So but until that day comes, uh, I might say a couple words or two. <laughs> but it just sucks, boys. This life just sucks, man. So that's why I say it's so important to love one woman. But even that, if you love one woman and give everything, it still ends in despair. It still ends in tragedy. I don't know why. I don't have the answer for that. And it's so funny because I have no anger now. Like, it's just, I don't. I, I just don't. I'm, I've been hurt so much right now that I'm just numb. And I don't. It just nothing matters anymore. So why do I get angry? There's no point of getting angry. So 
so, so that's it. That's, yeah, that's it. You just keep on going. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I think that's all I want to say. But yeah, maybe I'll talk to you later on. New day. Yeah. Go put gas in. And I still have that doubt. I feel like everything is going to do good, but I still have that doubt that that misery is always going to come. Like, oh, I'm going to fail and at this business, I would not. It's like I don't trust God. I don't trust anyone because everything I predicted came true. My big doubt that, oh, God is going to take my family away or, oh, God is going to punish me somehow. And, and He did. He's doing it. So, and this is the worst thing in my life. So. How can I trust anyone? Your mom was the only person I truly cared about and I trusted, I told her everything. And I thought that was a good thing. But how can I trust her now, boys? She recorded me, she tells her family probably how bad I was. Like, I'm not a bad person. Like. She just makes me feel like I'm a criminal and I'm the worst person and and I have proof of all these videos that I wasn't. Yeah. All I was, I just was so in love with you guys that hurting me that I couldn't provide. That's it. There's no anger, there's no violence in me. But how can I prove it? Because I slid a stupid play. How can I prove it now? Everything's against me. They they call me crazy for wanting to see you guys. They put me in jail for wanting to see you guys. For wanting to see my wife. For wanting to see my boys. They put me in jail. I don't understand this point. <laughs> this is the dream I want to wake up from. This is the dream. I want to wake up from this. I just want to stop. I just want to stop. <laughs> but it's okay to cry here or do whatever here because no one sees me well you guys will when you watch this but no one will see this so I'm gonna act fake because that's the way to do it in this world fake so you don't feel nothing So you don't get hurt. So you don't feel this pain. So I'm going to be fake now. And I hate it. Because I want to be real. I was real with you guys. So. I'm going to act like I love your mother. I'm going to act like. I'm happy. But in reality, I don't know how to trust your mother. I don't know how to love her again. All this. I'm afraid now. And it sucks, boys, because it'll never be the same. And it was my fault. I know it was my fault. But why did you call the police, man? Why? 
I would have never hurt you guys. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Don't be a victim. Don't be a victim. So I'm gonna put gas in. I'm gonna put gas in. Gonna, I want to change my pants because they smell like cigars. But it's okay. I put a little vinegar and little little body spray on the pants and they'll be fine. Man, I've been having bad luck so far. This quick trip. Man, there's so many cars out there. So many cars here. Oh, there might be one right there. Hey, we're in luck. It's all full of here. So many vehicles. Well, I haven't been, I haven't been here in the mornings. Only at night, and it's not that busy at night. Everyone's up in the morning. Everyone's got to work. That's the other thing, boys. I put so much time in you, boys. There's so much time in your mother. There's so many people live through life where they just work and work and work and don't show love to the to the to the loved ones. But at least they're with their loved ones. I told you this before, boys, that this guy's probably talking to me. I thought this guy was going to come to me. But, uh, yes, I just see so many fake people. I just go through life. They just don't feel nothing. And I'm telling you, it's a curse for me. I made it where I learned how to feel things. And it was beautiful. Feeling true love with your mother. And I know you don't, boys don't want to hear this, but I, how I made love with your mother, how we were intimate. It was just so beautiful, so pure. And now it's gone. So I can't think of it the same way. I just think of her like any other woman that I, that I have to be leery and have to be skeptical and cannot trust. Not that I, I've been with many women, but just in general, like you can't trust them. I hate it. I'm damn if I do and damn if I don't. Like, I, what's the point of meeting another woman? There's no point. So you just stay with her. And that's not true love. So she'll probably find another man. But I don't know how to give her the same love, boys. I don't know how. I don't know how, boys. It hurts so much. I don't know if I can erase this from my memory. I never been cheated out because I never dated. I dated so little. So I never had that. I never. It was, your mother was everything. I gave everything to your mother. But this world is not perfect, so you gotta accept it. I got a goal. What's the point of keep crying? What's the point? All right, boys. I'll see you later. You got to throw away some things. I never did DoorDash this early. I've always wanted to. <laughs> so I can't like no matter what. Like, every fucking thing, every stupid thing. I think about your mother. That's why I want to go to sleep every day because every minute of the day because I, I, she's there. 
That, that's what I was trained to do. I trained it. It wasn't by accident. I designed it that way. I studied her. I I did so many things for that. Every day I think about her. And I'm supposed to turn it off. Like what? A blessing turned into a curse. There's nothing I can do. Happy Saturday, boys. Another day of misery. But I just have to learn like everyone else then, just to fake it. Go to work, put my life in work instead of my family. Just pay the bills. That's it. with the flow, just like everyone else. All right, I'll see, I'll see you boys, bye. Hey boys, uh, got something cool to tell you. So, uh, so happy Saturday, but, uh, did pretty good so far. It's about 9.30 and uh, doing good. I started real early. But uh, another proof that anger just is not part of me anymore. But sadness is because I wish your mom would see this. I wish your mom would, would trust me. But I'm going to tell you boys right now. I was at McDonald's and waited for a while. Did not get mad? Did not get angry? I was noticing other people getting angry. And then I even asked the gentleman if that order was mine because it was only two items and it looked small. It was a small bag. And he said, no, it's not. And then I waited probably another 10 minutes. And I've been noticing they were skipping me. And I asked politely. And and she double-checked. And the guy double-checked. She's like, man. And then he ended up giving me a bigger bag. And I'm like, oh. You know, I could have easily taken it. I was like, yeah, I just want to double check, sir. This might be not mine. And he looked. He was like, yeah. And then he went in the back and came back. And he said, cancel the order. And in my head, I was like, okay. But, you know, one could easily get angry. And I didn't. I just, I just accepted it. I was okay. I was like, all right. And as I was canceling it, like 10 seconds went by. And I was about to walk away when I was uh, um, going through the motions of canceling it. And right away, or not right away, but yeah, 10 seconds later, a little, a little pause basically. He, he can't kind of came back or looked right back at me and he said, I'm sorry about that, sir. I'm sorry. I said, no, no, don't worry, man. I understand. And just two things. One, I have no anger, boys. I just miss you guys so much. Like, I miss your mother. I miss you guys. And the second one is, is what I've always did. The please and thank you goes a long way. And even just not getting angry. It goes a long way. He, they know we 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 have conscience. We understand what's right or wrong. It's our ego that gets to us. And then when he learned that I wasn't fighting, I wasn't angry. Where he was probably used to it so much of people just getting angry with them. And then he within ten seconds realized, man, I was mean to him. 
and that was it. We all just want to be loved. But we, we put this barrier because so many people hurt us. Like I said, that's what I'm trying to plan on doing because I know it's my fault, but your mother hurting me. So I don't know if I'm gonna be the same loving man. I'm gonna be respectful, funny and everything, but I don't know if I can give her the same love. That's what scares me. Because I might, I'll put my barrier up, just like everyone else. So I'll continue boys. I love you, I'll talk to you again. Boys, boys, boys! Good afternoon! It is 5 o'clock and I'm heading to Cigar Shop for the one year anniversary. And on top of that, it was crazy, boys. It all worked out. I'm telling you, things are coming along. Things are coming. How do I say this? Things are putting in place or things are settling in place. It's the weirdest thing. It's just everything's coming along and um, man it's exciting so I am so I think I told you so yesterday I was too tired and I had a headache and I dozed off in the car and then I woke up and I got energetic I just did my uh, shower I took a shower and then I put gas in I started um, doing DoorDash heading that way uh, and I did really good. I think I got like 40 bucks or 37, I think. It was just under 40 uh, before I got, what, before it was like 9.30. So it was, it was a good start to the morning. And then I ended up being around the shop in Hewitt. So I'm like, you know what, let me go to the shop because I had my t-shirt on. And it felt weird because I didn't have a nice shirt on. I just had the t-shirt that I normally sleep in. And so technically I was going around my pajamas. That's not good. <laughs> I just didn't feel comfortable. So, and then I, my mustache, like I felt scuzzy and I didn't brush my teeth because I didn't have all, none of my toiletries with me. So uh, just my underwear and soap and shampoo and, and uh, not even pants. So, so I, you know, the cigar shop, it kind of made it smelly a little, uh, the pants, and, um, nani malote. Kind of like, uh, your mom says, un animal. <laughs> oh, man. So I got to tell you something about that, too, uh, about what I think about mom, a good thing. But, yeah, just, and so I went to the shop, shaved, brushed my teeth, uh, put deodorant on, change, put new pants on. Felt good, and I continued on. And I got $184 at 5 o'clock right now, which is amazing in DoorDash or Nico's terms. Normally, I would get that for the day, and I would, you know, from 5 o'clock to like 10. So, you know, I saved five hours. It was really cool. And it worked out again i was thinking in my head i'm like man i may have to work a little extra because i was planning on going to the cigar shop but i kind of felt bad because i i knew i was gonna take some time off but no like 15 bucks i want to get 200 that was my ultimate goal but i got oh i got 206 yesterday so take off six bucks so technically 10 bucks i'm okay if i bought 10 bucks for the week Instead of 900, I got 8, 890, and I'll most likely get over 200 tomorrow. So, and I should be able to get past that 216. So, boom! I think uh, yesterday I got like 220 something. One day, one of the days I got 220 something, I felt good. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited, boys, but you know, I. I always think about you guys. Like I said, I've always think about you. And a good thought came in my head where, you know, just letting everything go. Just be happy. I, I know you guys don't want to hear this, but from a man's perspective, like, 
in a way to hurt your mom in a nice way. I don't, that sounds dumb to hurt your mom in a nice way. But to hurt her in a nice way, I was planning not having sex with her. Yeah, what are you talking about, Dad? Sorry, sorry. Act your age, boys. <laughs> but I was thinking about that, just, you know, and not seeing her family and not going to mass. And all these little things to, to hurt her. To, like, get back at her. You just can't, boys. Like, there's no good thing that comes out of it. Believe me, I analyze it. I have a very vivid mind and that's what caused me sadness that nothing will be the same anymore but what if I work hard at it it can't be the same because I, I'm, I've always been the same person and now that I, I did a fun analogy and now that I feel so strongly of not having anger in me it just I should just go back to being the fun person that your mother fell in love with that you guys had fun with, that you loved me for. I did a fun analogy where, you know, think of like a straight line. A straight line of is us being so happy and fun and almost perfect. And then this little vertical line of my anger. Well, if you take that off, it'll be just a straight line then, which is, and now we got a straight line again. I just had to be patient, but I don't know. Again, uh, maybe some compromises I'll make with mom that you know I don't think she'll ever change. I so saw accept her. She'll always be reserved. I believe that she wants to love me, but she doesn't know how. And that hurts me, boys. But I just have to accept it. She cannot change. And it sucks because I here I am changing, but technically her problem, if she does not change, it doesn't hurt anyone. Well, it hurts me not being loved by her. So yeah, only one person, but I guess I can take it. But other than that, it's hurting herself. It's not hurting anyone else. So I guess she can do it. With me, my anger hurted many people. So that had to change. So I understand that. But, yeah, I just, I have to accept her. And the other compromise is cigars, man. I'm going to take out time. That is my therapy, just hanging out. I feel so much funness, and I'm not even going home to you guys. And I feel excited when I get done with that. Like, I want to go home. I want to say hi to you guys. I want to kiss you guys. I want to kiss mom just all these beautiful things i just want to hug you guys and talk to you guys i get that when i leave the the cigar shop because i just feel happy afterwards but right now it kind of goes down because i go home to not you guys and i go home to the shop but that doesn't take away the fact that i still have that excitement so just, I just can't, well, I can wait. I just have to be patient. But just imagine when I come home to you guys, it like pushes me more to happiness. So that's my compromise is that I'll take an hour from eight to nine or nine to 10 at night. I need that. And I don't know. Um, then the whole thing, oh, your mom might want to, do something like that and she doesn't know like again it's just it's sad she doesn't know how to be happy she just knows how to t provide and take care of people but there's no happiness in that if you don't feel nothing you're just gonna be a walking worker walking and breathing worker and that's not happiness but I'm almost tired of, of trying boys if that's the way she is then fine I love her the way she is now but yeah, um, and if she doesn't like the smoking, then we'll work at it. Again, it doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, I know I'm happy with you guys. And that's it. So, but we'll talk more about it. I love you guys. I'm probably like five, ten minutes away.
but uh yeah it's a one year anniversary for the honeycomb cigars and they're having a uh, Hellberg barbecue which is on uh, kind of close to you guys not in Ch i think china spring area but um off of six. Oh man so i've been having trouble trying to find a good brisket place i've tried other places here um rudy's i tried what else um what was the other one i tried I tried one more so not a lot but i tried at least two what was the other one? Oh, dickies if i remember yeah yeah dickies on valley mills that was all right but again just trying to match the one that i made and mine was a little burnt but good lord that smell that softness everything was great and Halberg was the one. I paid 32 or 34 bucks for a pound of brisket. It might have been under 40, but uh, it was a pound of brisket and a sausage link. And man, it was so good. Yeah, the brisket was amazing. I feel like they gave me more than a pound. So I really like that place. They got their building burned down recently and they're working out a food truck, but right next to the burnt building. So. Uh, hopefully they get that set up soon but yeah um they are the ones that are hosting it so and and i heard that they're going to have um items that they don't normally sell on the menu so it's gonna be exciting because the owners got motivated by the owners of hellberg apparently they're friends and they're real close friends and they kind of pushed them to come over here to settle in Waco because they came from Utah and so they're very close friends so I think they're they're really gonna take care of them and then there's gonna be like specific balcony spirits that are gonna be really unique um, so I'm gonna taste test them again appropriately and I can't wait to show you boys how to smell it how to taste it a little bit uh, again you, you you cannot indulge in that manner so that's why i like it it goes against the rules of appreciating when you keep on drinking a lot it's almost it's almost insulting it means you, you're not appreciating you're not giving his due of the craftsmanship from that spirit so um definitely i, I really like it and i'm gonna do it today too and again, something where it just doesn't mess with your mind. You know, it doesn't. And it doesn't change who you are. It's almost like anger. Anger changed who I was. So that's an interesting correlation. So yeah, my my alcohol was anger. But it's funny, even with anger, it can change because I don't have those substances to make it even more enhanced. Of really hurting hurting people because not only you have anger you have you have double alcoholism because I compare it with with alcoholism but when someone has an alcohol problem good lord they're double effed they're double screwed so and again I don't know why God made me this way but he made it for a reason and I feel things are coming in place now and I'm gonna enjoy it I'm gonna work hard keep on going sell suits and strategize on how we can make this into a dynasty this company i'm ready for it boys i'm getting all structured and you guys are going to be big help you guys are going to be the next the future owners and even your sons are going to be the best ones because i'm starting it out you guys will enhance it and the other boys your boys will just man shoot it to town like take it to town because you they would already have the power now and it's gonna be fun we're gonna have a good ride so and i want all you boys and mom to be there with me and, and yeah so like i said i'm i'm happy boys and all those other things that i listed about you know not having relations sexual relations with your mom or not talking to her siblings or not going to mass all that who cares who cares i'll do those things that pride is what kills you so oh look it looks kind of busy already so here let me show you real quick this is honeycombs so this is 
is it and then four keeps coffee so i better go i'm not used to holding the phone as i'm driving <laughs> i'm like this is kind of weird all right so i'm gonna get going it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun all right hope i talk to you guys soon well not hope i will talk to you guys soon I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna get my calories on. I'm gonna get my barbecue. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm excited, boys. God is mysterious, I tell you. But I'm happy and I can't wait to see you guys. I love you. I love you. And I love your mom. I'll see you guys later. Boys, it's your dad. Hello, Raina boys. That was fun. I was there from five to 11, six hours, boys. What a day, what a day. Man, that was fun. And they're still going. <laughs> I had, it's about, what, 10.45? Oops, car's coming. I got to go. I really miss your mom. I always talk about her. One lady is like, "Oh, you gotta, you gotta bring her by." I'm like, "Yeah, maybe a minute or two. Oh, I got, oh, I forgot, I got two cigars. Uh, well, I'm gonna put this in my, in my locker, I guess. Or I don't have a locker. Well." I have to store it in a good place then. Ugh. Oh man, this time I'm not, I don't have a headache. And I only smoked one cigar. Isn't that crazy? I smoked one cigar in six hours, boys. But I was going back and forth. I wasn't smoking a long time. And I felt like I had a little bit of headache, but I ate some food, little nachos. Oh, I gotta tell you guys about the the first round of food, oh, it was so good. The brisket, I had one slice and a little smaller piece. It was so good. Had that, tortillas. I'm a little tired, but definitely have enough energy to go uh, take a shower. Heck, I might even run right now. I'm motivated. Motivated and sad. Started. I was showing one guy uh, the pictures of my family. But yeah, it's uh, he he tr entrusted me in something too that they were asking the family members were asking them for money and it's not good to uh, it's not good to talk about money to your family because then they will start doing some things so and treat you different so you almost yeah I did it and I never am happy about it there's a police right there two polices wow what they got ooh don't look good but yeah, crazy, crazy. But I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I'm so excited. I got the 184 today. That really made me happy. Basically 200. I'll work tomorrow and get good money and start saving little by little. Yeah, boys, I really, really love your mom. Thinking more about it, like, I'm going to be happy when I see you guys again. It's been a couple days now that uh, I haven't wrote anything or done anything. 
last thing I sent was about a couple days ago. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start of start the process of not writing to you guys or or doing videos to you guys because I have to show her that a little medium I have to show her what is this a lot of people here what is this That's weird. A lot of people with cars and stuff, like ghetto cars. And then of course the muse the the Mexican band music is right here. The stupid dance on the club. Which I despise because wasteful people who knows your mom might have gone there she's so confused on who she loves and it's sad boys look no one's here Saturday night I'm literally almost by myself that's funny man no cars are here that's hilarious I get to park right up front almost all out. They're working out during the week and partying on the weekends. Uh, Excuse me. But what was I saying earlier? Uh, I don't know. A lot's going on in my head. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on working. I better go. I'm getting tired already. <laughs> All I keep doing was laying down. I stopped myself from buying another cigar. I wanted to buy another one, but no. I got these two, which I have to put back into my locker. So I'll do that tomorrow. It'll be okay. you guys oh I think I remember now like I have to I have to be absent so your mother knows how it feels without me I don't like that rule it's not even a rule so strategy I don't like I really hate that strategy but it makes sense because we're human we miss the things that we don't have so I have to act like she doesn't have me I hate that strategy I hate that concept but unfortunately it's true I think it's almost fake but I'm in this game now that you have to play. I hate it, man. I wish I could just be real with her. But I can't. You have to be fake. You have to play the game. I never played the game, boys. I never. I always was true to your mother. I told her everything. There was one girl that I got her phone number and I threw it away right afterwards. And I told your mother right afterwards. That's the most I ever did of ever talking to another girl. And it was quick too. I asked her a little bit what's her name and that's it. And so I 
had my ring on and everything. So she probably saw my ring. Say, hey, if you don't mind, maybe we can get lunch. She said, okay. So you mind if I get your number? And I only did it because I had to work so hard in Austin. I got so mad at God that I want to be with you guys. And I knew we were gonna, we were having problems with paying our rent. I just got so mad at God. And I'm like, fine, forget you, God. If you don't care for my family, me, I don't care about it. I'm gonna do it just to get you mad. Because I know it's wrong. That's why I got it. And then when I got into the car, I'm like, did I just get her number? And I threw it away. I told your mother. I was honest with your mother with everything, boys. I felt so good with your mother because I had no lie, no nothing, just pure truth to her. But now we have to play a game because everyone's involved now. She put all this now in the open. Now we have to play a stupid game. So... I better go. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to take a shower. I might not even work out. We'll see. That's what I said before, and then I ended up working out. So we'll see as I walk in. Bye, boys. Hey, boys. Planet Fitness. Just got done. Feel good. I don't know what time is it, but it looks like people are leaving um, somewhere. See a lot of cars in the moment, but over there, of course, is uh, Saturday night, so it's got to be dumb people trying to look for love in the wrong place. All those women mean nothing, boys. You can go to those clubs, but you're going to realize very quick what type of women there are. And for an intelligent man like you, like all you boys, it's not attractive. It's not attractive at all. Why would you want a woman that sleeps with many women? Or many women. With many men. I'm going to get a big cup of ice. So I can drink some water. Oh, man. Got my two cigars. I'm going to... Heck, I should smoke them more. But I don't got none of the... The matches. Oh, I got the AC high. <sighs> what a day. Guess what I did, boys? I worked out like double. I didn't bring any clothes. I forgot to bring a pair of underwear. I thought I did. But I guess I didn't put it in. Must have forgot. But um, I didn't... I forgot to bring a pair of underwear. Forgot to bring a pair of socks. So I'm wearing the same pants with no underwear and no socks right now. But we can do it, eh? But the cool thing was, uh, I worked out. I ran for eight minutes and then I worked out like lift, lifting weights. Oh, it feels kind of sore, but I know it feels good. That is my muscles are growing so gotta be attracted to your mother or gotta be attractive for your mother so she likes me and um but yeah right behind me is the is the dumb fake love that they call a club that almost rhymes but I am not going there I am going this way and getting gas and go home which is <sighs> shop but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start saying home because I read a, fun, a wonderful saying a little poem it says our house used to be wherever you are at so wherever I am at I feel at home I'm sad and I miss you guys. I, 
I still have you guys. I don't know if your mom wants a divorce or not. I do not. But if she does, I'll win her back. I will win her back, boys. And this Jorge place is not open yet, but it looks like they're almost done. They got all the lights there on Franklin. I think it's gonna be pretty busy. Heck, I might even eat there since it's on the way here when it opens. I think it'll probably open in the beginning of June, so we got about a week or so. Yeah, one more week. Give me like, give me like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me like, give me like, boo, boo, boo. Yeah. I'm tired, boys. But gotta keep going. There's a sign up there in front of Walmart that says, here on New Road in Franklin, it says, you are enough. Oh well, yeah, try to tell my wife that. <laughs> Hey, I think it's a full moon. I haven't done lessons of the day yet. Maybe I'll do it when I get gas and I'll read it and I'll tell you guys. I got into uh, mafia movies or documentaries on YouTube right today. I watched some. Can't believe I did 184 uh, by five o'clock. Very impressed. That means I have to start at 6.30. Should be able to do it. Oh, Got to put gas in your ass. You guys had a good day? I hope so. But, uh, I miss Isaac doing the karate man he had some good you got some good kicks Isaac Benny was getting better I hope you guys are practicing but it's probably not the same without me because I do know it's never the same without you boys Tired, but I gotta keep going. I want to go to sleep. 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 Alright. I'll look up the less of the day and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye bye. Boys, I am in uh, home. I'm at home, got my bed set up, brushed my teeth, got the cigars. I'll probably take them tomorrow to the shop so I can put them in my locker. And I'm ready to go to bed, tired. Put everything away, got my shorts on. I stretched, I hope you guys stretched too. And I got the good stuff. I don't know if you can see the good stuff. Ice cold water. Hear that? Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Cheers. Ah, I can't drink it uh, fast because it's so cold. But it's still good. So, there's a little fly. I'm going to try to be Mr. Miyagi. And Swat it fast, but it's on the laptop, so I don't want to. It's just hanging out. Oh, there you go. Come on, come on. Got you right now. So fast. Oh, I think I just missed it. 
and stay out. I still remember Benny said, so yes, so. All right, boys. Uh, lesson of the day is everyone has great ideas, but who's going to own it first? So we all have cool ideas. We all think, oh, we, I can do this, I can do that. But if you never do it, then what's the point? It's just talk. So you got to do it. So if you think you have a great idea, everyone has great ideas, but they never... Um, take it to the next level. So that's what the lesson of the day. Be committed on what you stand for. And if you have a good idea, if you truly believe in a good idea, then execute it. Be the first one to own it. Because there might be other people that think the same thing as you. So who's going to do it first? That's what's important. Oh, this water is so good. Can't wait till I, um, well, I want to buy the fridge and put it right here, like a mini fridge, so I can put fruit. I can then buy a blender and I will make smoothies. So I'm excited about doing that. And then I can put drinks, uh, like waters, maybe Gatorades, but um, just cold water. I bought the ice in the cup from Quick Trip. 25 cents for a full cup of ice. And this is like a large. Because I got water here. So, but it's room temperature. But yeah, boys. Tomorrow's going to be good. I can't believe I did 184 at 5 p.m. Yeah, that's good hope. But, uh. I guess at the line, I'm going to wake up early tomorrow. I'm going to try to do it again. Love you, boys. But yeah, don't don't forget that lesson of the day. That's a good one. Because it's all talk until you actually execute it. Then you're the real one. I think I won't finish all that. I'll probably just leave it here. It's all condensation, so maybe I'll put it a napkin, maybe. We will figure it out. Ice and cold. Tell your mother I said hi. And I love her. And then when you tell mom I said hi and I love her, tell her to tell you boys that I love you. Have a good night.